Hey, today's video I'm working on a 2014 Mazda 3 with the Skyactiv engine and we have a, um, a misfire and on this particular uh, type of engines um, the spark and fuel is extremely important. It's extremely important in most cars but this is just a little more so because they use a little bit more pressure and a little less fuel to ignite and cause a hotter burn almost like a diesel. So if the any parts of the ignition system are on its way out, you're going to um, feel loss of power. Uh, sometimes uh, if, if you're misfiring on one cylinder, it will shut that cylinder down so it doesn't destroy the cat and you'll lose power. And sometimes it can even shut more down, two cylinders down, and it feel like the transmission or a clock cat. And it's a lot of, you know, a lot of things that can go wrong. So we're going to diagnose this one right now. And we're going to take it for a test drive. I cleared all the codes again. And we're going to see what's going to come up. Okay, so when I cleared the codes, uh, everything is running normal, obviously, until you give it a little gas and you put it on the load. So let's see what we have. Okay, so we see it right there. It's misfiring on cylinder three. And what I did before, it was misfiring on, on cylinder number four. So I took the ignition coil out of four and put it in three to see if, 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 the, uh, if the misfire would jump to that cylinder and it did. So that's telling me that it's not the wiring of the um, module, it's the uh, ignition coil itself so far. Um, but it also had a random misfire, so probably all the uh, coils have to be replaced. This car has higher miles, so it's good to replace them. But uh, let me see if I can duplicate the um, the uh, limp mode, so to speak. I sure enough, it went in limp mode. The check engine light is blinking. You do not want to drive the car fast when it's blinking. I got no power, and if this car was on the highway, you would have problems. So, you see, let me just... Uh, show you over here you see you see it's blinking i give it gas there's nothing i'm actually almost floored to the floor it killed everything all right and it's doing that because it's dumping raw fuel in the exhaust and that's going to just heat up the cat and melt it so you don't want this happening to your car check engine light on and a check engine light blinking the blinking one is extremely worse okay now we look at the history uh over here when it says permanent um, DTC diagnostic trouble codes, all right, that means that they're not. You can't erase these. And if you see over here, it says cylinder four. That's that's the problem the car had originally. I switched the four to number three, and now it's showing three. All right, it has the uh, misfire. And if that, if you keep keep neglecting that, I don't know how you can. Uh, it's going to be a permanent code and the only way to get rid of these codes is to fix the problem so when i replace the ignition coils and spark plugs i'm going to replace all you know the ignition coils and spark plugs and everything is fine you check make sure there's no codes pending you'll still see the permanent codes if you have any all right but they will go away as long as the problem for the code is fixed and same thing with the um catalytic converter codes uh, the P0421 and the P0300 is multiple 301 is cylinder 1 302 is cylinder 2 and 303 is 3 and 303 is 4 alright those are the codes so if you can see over here these are cylinder 3 misfire because like I just told you I took it out of the number 4 cylinder so we know it's the coil all right, and also number one at one, two, they're all, all the secondary cores on all the cylinders are weak, but really bad was number three. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna replace them all. Once I replace them all, we're gonna uh, test it again and make sure the problem went away. Okay, on this particular model to remove the ignition cores is very easy. You have a little engine cover here, it's, it's held in. You just push it on, pull it up on three sides. It's got these little pins and they go here here and over there somewhere all right it comes right off no tools needed for that and there's the coils right there i replaced them already but i'm going to show you how to do it you just 
undo the uh, connector. You have an eight millimeter right here. Take that off. All right. They come right off. Spark plug is underneath that. It's a different type of spark plug. You're gonna need a 916. You put them in there. And again, I just did this, so I'm just showing you how to do it. It's very simple. And then what you're gonna need probably a little magnet to get the, the um, spark plug out. Like this, like that, and it comes right out. Okay? And then when you put the new ones in, you make sure they're properly gapped. For this engine, it's 44,000. All right, don't drop them in there. You hold them with your finger until they pretty much hit the bottom, because you don't wanna change the gap. And you just reverse the procedure. This. All right, I'll do the whole thing, I'll show you. Some people like seeing the whole thing. Okay. That. Then you put him in there. You make sure it's that way. You wiggle it in. Make sure it's on the, the uh, spark plug. There you go. You wiggle it in. Make sure it's pretty much seat before you uh, screw it down. See, it's pretty much flush. Then you get your eight millimeter. So it's nice and tight. Make sure the clip clips. There we go. And then you do that to all four. Okay, just came back. And as you can see, no misfiring codes. Problem is fixed. All right, so on this type of vehicle, it's not too hard to do. And, um, and that's it for this. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut. Please subscribe. Hit the uh, like button. And any questions, I answer them all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.